Welcome to our live training session number 40. We're going to learn how to tune a 2008 GMC Yukon using HP Tuner software. Let's jump into some details about the vehicle. We're going to find it's a relatively stock vehicle. It has a catback exhaust and it has an upgraded camshaft installed. The camshaft is a TSP cam. It's a truck specific profile grind on it. It's a 218 duration, 600 lift, and it's going to have a 112 LSA. It has upgraded springs and also upgraded lifters. So otherwise the engine is going to be all stock stock, stock manifolds, stock cats, stock fuel system, stock intake. We're going to learn how to do the complete calibration process, doing the mass airflow tuning, doing speed density tuning, also taking a look at doing a basic trans tune. This is going to be a great introductory video of how to work with HP tuners on a GM Gen 4 application. So without further wait, let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome to our live training session here with our GMC Yukon. Now we just went over all the basic modifications that have been done to the vehicle. Let's jump into our VCM editor software so we can begin reading our calibration file out and starting our tuning process here. So moving into our VCM editor software, I find that I have nothing open on the screen here. There's nothing uh, that's been read out of the ECU yet. That's our, that's our job right now. As soon as we get in front of a car, first thing is going to be to read the actual file out. So let's go and do that right now. I'm going to go up here to the icon, the read vehicle. And we're going to find here, we have the option here under gather info. We can actually go in and see what modules this has available to read and write. So to uh, to the read process and to flash back to the ECU and do editing changes. So we see we have an ECM, that's going to be our engine control module. We have a TCM, trans control module. And then we have a fuel pump control module. Now in this particular application, I am not going to be interested in doing anything with the fuel pump control module. So I'm actually going to be in skipping that just so I don't go and have to license this and cost me an extra uh, credit or $50. Because again, this application, it, it just doesn't need it. Um, stock fuel pump, stock fuel system, there's going to be no reason that we're going to have to command more fuel flow rate from the fuel pump. So I'm going to go here to the option here from read entire. I'm going to set it to do not read. That's going to ignore that in a read. So when we save this original file out here, it's going to be saving our, again, our ECM and TCM. Very important that we save the original uh, equivalents out of the ECU. So that if we want to turn it back to stock, we have that available. We can just simply flash it back and essentially put the ECU all back into stock programming configuration. So I'm going to go here to read and allow it to read now my engine control module and trans control module. And this process takes a few minutes, about five, six minutes total to read both modules. We're going to be doing programming in both of these um, as, as we go through our training here. And specifically, we're going to focus on the chassis dyno here, uh, doing the calibration process, going through the math and the uh, virtual VE tuning. Now this does have this particular operating system. Um, it should have, at least I don't know yet until we actually read it out, it should have a two bar operating system where it can convert it uh, and get ready the virtual VE. I'm going to keep the virtual VE. I'm not going to go and switch it over to two bar operating system. There's really no need again for this application to uh, have to go in and have that custom operating system uh, from HP tuners. So we'll just keep it simple right now. And we'll just go through that process of again, doing um, the basic map tuning and then the virtual VE and calibrating them and then setting our dynamic blend back to what would have been from GM. So we have a properly running vehicle. Now this does have an upgraded cam installed and it does have a slight uh, kind of misfire lumpiness to it at idle. When you're driving, it seems like it's relatively smooth. So we may have to deal with that. I was seeing um, before I started to film, it was getting a, a misfire code. We might have to jump in and turn off the, uh, the overall generic misfire code and we may have to go in and also raise some of the misfire threshold tables. Now the reason why we wanna do that, it's important on an automatic vehicle, if it throws a misfire code, the converter on most of the automatic GM Gen 4s will not lock, which is going to be a problem. So we want to avoid that, try to take care of that, um, and we'll see if the code pops up when we're doing our tuning. Um, we'll deal with any kind of uh, things that, that are associated with that. Um, I do have in my VCM scanner, which we have right here, the VCM scanner, I have a master channels list. Um, a lot of what you've seen already from the training course, I have all kinds of um, different histograms and uh, different graphical plotting here. We can take a look at a lot of different things. Now, a lot of what we learned in the training course was a little bit more advanced techniques and things. Um, this is going to be a really basic video, the live training videos, I should say. There's going to be a couple. Um, I'm not going to go into doing a lot of uh, the virtual torque rescaling. We're going to check it. We're going to look at it, but chances are it's not going to be off because there's such mild modifications to the vehicle. So this is going to be a pretty typical typical thing. You'll Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.